Hello everyone! Welcome back! My name is Gigi Fez. How y'all doing today? Thanks for joining Oxfordwell Build Series with Fees. How y'all doing today? Hopefully everyone enjoyed the, that whole entire speed build. Um, I pretty much, you know, we were supposed to do the tech building and speed build and I... I spent the weekend building this and you know what? I don't regret it because I... Um, thanks to someone reminding me on uh, this kind of technique and I'll probably do it in a video. And I did this back in season one, and I completely forgot about this. If you guys remember in season one, uh, my survival series, we did a snow base in the tundra, um, basically, and I made this like deck thing, and I completely forgot about this technique. And I kind of was experimenting this whole weekend with it, and I kind of came up with this. This was actually a couple days of recording, and and yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share it with you because I th I quite like it. It's something that you know. Um, you can definitely do yourself. It's all built in vanilla. And um, I think it's relatively pretty sweet. So let's go over this. This The goal was to explore this technique. Uh, it's a 45 degree kind of or 30 degree or 90 degree or something like that. I think it's 30 degrees or something. I don't know. Um, it's basically uh, a way to like turn vanilla pieces into like hexagons, octagons, now you can do this with the dino doors, but when you know with dino doors and stuff you have the um, the base of it always needs like a flat section area, well this you don't really need it. So let's just start with this, so I wanted to do a swamp theme because I've never done one and I just felt like it was pretty much cool and as you can tell this is the entire base itself. Um, obviously it's not like completely, you know, it's just to do for the video I didn't really have time to finish decorating and painting or anything but to be honest I don't think I would really paint anything too much so but let's go on foot and let's explain everything and let's go over all of it so to get into the base itself this is the only entrance way and the whole goal for me was also to use only wood and thatch as much as possible and I think I succeeded because that's all I used in the entire build is wood and thatch so get a little nice landing bay up here little pathway and then a dino door for a little aesthetics nothing really fancy and um, then we have a calico and a bear and then another little area and then this is actually a secret walkway over to here for no apparent reason it's just a walkway for over there and then we come back up to this section right here now this section this little house is for actually lay egg laying that's why i made this little section right here not there's no dinos in here i probably would have put terror birds or something like that whatever you really need for egg laying in the survival situation i would put it in this section right here this is our commander if i didn't remember uh to tell you guys if that you can even see that on the screen i don't remember if i enabled nvidia shield to do that but yeah so i also did uh uh some other things which was um, since I was doing everything in wood, I, you know, figured I might as well reverse stuff to have a different texture, and it, it's not too bad. I quite don't like doing it all the time, but I tried it for this project, and I'm not, it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's not too bad, um, reversing everything on that. Um, so yeah, then we come up here, you have your, you know, your Anki and your, uh, another snail. What the hell? Stupid snails. Freaking snails. Um, and you know over here and there's a walkway to this section over here um, And here would also be other laid egg laying dinos smaller shoulder mounts and stuff You know if you wanted to you can do whatever you want in here and then come down over here to the left And the little storage area for little froggies capros and anything else you could really fit over here There's another walkway that goes around there's a lot of walkways They're trying to make it as circular as much as possible because they want to do that So this would be technically the main hub and this is pretty cool. I fucking love this. This is awesome. This is really cool. So this is like a whole... Remember, this is all survival. There's no mods. There's no mods at all. And, I mean, if, let's see. Is there hide info? Uh, I think that does it, right? Yeah, see? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is all survival. So this is this is pretty cool. Um, this is This is really cool. Um, so here you have like your whole this is basically if I had more time a little bit more time I would add some more storage boxes and and stuff and you know just put some power and everything There's nothing at the moment. Um, it's really hard to see in here, um, but this is cool I would add, definitely make this a more of a centerpiece paint it up and make it a little bit nicer looking But you know, this is this is pretty cool. I quite like this. I, I really like this little build thing 
and you know you can put your little snails you can put your store chest you have the two diner doors you can shut this off i mean this is really open you know forger you could also put an industrial forge if you really want to in the middle instead of having that but um but yeah i mean that's that's pretty sweet isn't it and here's the build itself this building you know something really really different than i've ever done and I don't know why I quite like it. It's very, you know, it's a swamp fiend. So I didn't want to do anything really squared. I just wanted like maybe one square building, which I did. And this is the other building that I wanted to put into the, you know, the swamp area. And as you can tell, we have a walkway that goes across as well that perfectly snaps with each other all the way around over to there and stuff. Yeah, so lots of room to store dinos and stuff. Very nice. And then we come back over here. We got a nice place to store pteranodons and that pelagonis and stuff. Um, for, it's funny. I, I chose the freaking flyers because they're so useless now. So they're pretty good as display purposes. But that's about it. Um, then we come back over here. We have the first thing that was built. See, you know what's funny? This is the first thing I thought about. And this is what everything came around. And this is basically the house. And you know me. I love sheep. I love sheep. So I put sheep in here. And I would put a bed and some storage up. Um, and stuff so I wanted to show you this though before we continue this is really cool and I actually discovered this today so this uh this, I'm gonna put a video up for this um, but you get a little sneak peek so I didn't know that that to enable snapping through two like you can't do this you can't do this right like that the only way to do that is if I have a doorway and another doorway or just put a doorway through this and through that. Look at that. I can snap two walls with each other. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. And also, if you start in the speed build, if there was, you could also do this and do that. Like, you can do two of them and stuff. So, like, something like this, right? So, when you have this kind of, you know, section right here that you want to cover this up to me like that. I love this area just to show you guys this, uh, this little technique. But uh, I'm definitely going to make a video on this because uh, I think it uh, definitely needs to be a thing. Tips and tricks with walls and fence foundations or something. Damn, look at that. Hello, Thilo. How are you? Sorry, video software crashed. Oh, that was weird. Anyways, uh, hopefully that's all saved. If not, I'm going to have to re-record all that. But yeah, so, you know, that's a cool thing, what I was saying. And definitely going to make probably a video on that. And uh, yeah, I found it first. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else found that, but that, that's what I found today with freaking messing around with arc stuff. Um, then here, I would definitely make like kind of a greenhouse kind of thing. You know, put some greenhouse little walls up here. Maybe. I don't know. I, I kind of left this as a patio situation thing, but I kind of had the suggestion maybe putting a, uh, a greenhouse garden thing over here. You got a little walkway that goes all the way around as well. I mean, I, I love this. There's just walkways everywhere, and I try to make it so circular and stuff. And then we come down over here. We got some more dino storage. Now, the cool thing is, like, right, you can store a lot of dinos in a lot of, in a lot of different places and stuff. So it's really nice, all those different spaces and stuff. I mean, look, at here's another damn walkway and stuff. Um, but then in, in here, here's my one of my favorite things. This is the bird cage. Um, to holding terror birds and stuff. I would probably put a bunch of more. Um, I quite like collecting terror birds and like having them. So maybe having more terror birds and stuff would be pretty cool. But yeah, so this is what the outside looks like, which is one of my favorites. I actually had a sneak peek on this on Twitter the other day uh, of it being completed because I completed this on Sunday, uh, this part. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really cool. But yeah, so that's my, uh, I don't know. This is my swamp base kind of thing uh, in the aisle. And I am basically uh, on the southern... I'm at 50, 50, 80. Yeah, I'm roughly like 51, uh, 80, 83. Roughly right there. And the, the tech base is actually over there, which is pretty funny. So, but yeah, uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, follow. I, you know, I try to do my best to give you some more inspirations and different ideas and all this other cool stuff on building. And this is probably one of my favorite things that I've done so far uh, in a long time. Just do that. Um. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, look at that. I mean, I it it's it's really cool. I I quite like this build, and I'm I'm really happy that I you know screwed around with it this weekend. Um, I definitely think it turned out really nice. Really nice, man. Oh man. All right, let's change it back to slow one. But yeah. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, 
That's it. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and if you have any other more suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and we'll take a look at maybe building something in those. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell if you want to know when I'm live or uh, another video comes out because then you know that's what the bells for now because you know you got to hit the bell to know when I'm live and all this other great stuff you know thank you YouTube and stuff but anyways love you all hopefully everyone enjoyed and I can't wait to see if anyone's gonna copy that because it's gonna be fun take care everyone have a good one